Hello everybody, this is Nordfrau giving you a little guide on how to make the Ottomans Orthodox. As you see, they start off as Sunni Muslims, but they can actually become Orthodox within the first 15-20 years fairly quickly. You just need to do a few things. First off, I did not uh, find this method. Uh, it's actually a Roomba that did it, and all courtesy goes to him for finding this uh, little thing. I made a link down the description where he actually is doing this at some point in his uh, Ottoman World Conquest campaign. So go and check it out. Now, I'm going to start the game here in Iron Man to show you it's Iron Man compatible. So, and just, yeah, auto. Uh, Utu. And let's start the game. I will be making a few jumps in the uh, game here because it's gonna take a fair amount of town, time here. First off, send these guys up winning the Albanian war. That'll be good. Second, go into the mission here. City of the, uh, of the World's Desire will give you a claim on Canst Constantinople. If you take a look here on the Byzantium, I can't do uh, declare war, but if I go in here... Whoop to do! You get that little take Constantinople and declare war. Might as well do it right away. You could move these guys off first, but what I find is uh, useful is actually send these to protect trade, and I'll actually send the light ships to protect trade. There. Oops. And you see the Byzantium fleet is there. You can take the rest of your ships, put them over here, so that they will start helping uh, blockade these ports. And this fleet will put. Uh, you start in the war with Albania, so that's why you need to go up here in Albania. And no, you're not gonna want to take any alliances with the other Sunni Muslims. But. Now I'm going to tell you one thing you need to check out while I move these array. Um, it is religious unity. It's one of the most important things you need to do. As you can see here, we've got religious unity of 53. So, if you are to conquer any other provinces, you can go up here. Uh, well, Archia, they're orthodox, you can take that. Orthodox, you can take that. Orthodox will actually make Byzantium a vassal. Athens, you can take that, they're orthodox. And here they're orthodox. If you go into the religious map, well, you can actually see it. You can take every province you want to expand this way and over here on the islands. It's uh, by Byzantium cores, I believe. These two. But do not reclaim your cores over here yet. You need to create, uh, keep your religious unity below 50. It's not below 50 right now, but we will be taking this province and this province. Which will make it go below. So that's why. You want to be below 50, otherwise you will not be able to convert your state religion. And I'll move the speed a little bit up. There, we're going to lose these troops. You can if you want to. Uh, you could move these off a little bit earlier. But that's not my style right now. And I'll detach a siege here. Go and kill those guys off. Put in a leader. Uh, there. There, they need to stop moving, you know. Oh, there. Oh, that's right. You can't put a leader on, of course. Should have done that before if you wanted. There, we wipe that troops. And let's put on these. Could take your uh, ruler, or you can take some other dude. I would prefer taking a big shot guy in the beginning of the game. That helps. And these guys, I want to consolidate and go over here. Actually, we'll just take this way around. Using the shift key to make a route like this. Then we'll go wipe these guys off, go over, and then we'll start uh, doing the siege on the uh, Constantinople. And I know I've got a lot of pop ups here. This army should just be annihilated fairly quickly. There. What you can do now is detach a siege and go down here and start uh, taking the rest of the Byzantium uh, 
area down here, you've got your ships outside, so he's most likely not going to take out his nine ships here because you've got 12 galleys, and this is Inland Sea. Now, as you can see here, I've been sieging all uh, most of the Byzantium area here, and we just want these sieges to end. Could move our ships down here for increasing that, actually. Maybe we should do that. Um, in the Aegean Sea. And we've ended the, the war here on Albania. We'll just do an annexation. Oh. Click here, so for peace. What I would advise you to actually is, before you start uh, wiping the armies like I did here, you could go in here and set the Byzantium as a rival. That will also help a little bit on the diplomatic relations after the war here and the peace agreements, but... Just a little advice. I didn't do it at the beginning, but I would advise you on doing that. I'll just combine the rest of these troops here, trying to not to take too much attrition um, during the sieges here. That's why I only uh, put in small amounts here. And as you can see here, we've taken over Constantinople. I'm moving my guys away. We just need one more siege, I believe, to fall. You see, we need to take Constantinople here. That is 44, but you could do with that if you just want to do that. But I would prefer doing this as well. Doing the Ottoman, uh, give a, getting them as a vassal. And now, as you can see, we've got 86%. We're going in here, super peace. They'll take this. We can take a little bit more money off of them if we want to. We'll take a good amount of uh, over expansion, um, aggressive expansion. But if you take a look at the countries you will get in them to, that'll be with the Byzantium and the Moldavia and Wallachia. So it's not that much. We'll get a bit of overextension because Constantinople is such a um, heavy uh, city here with a nine base uh, tax. What's going to happen now when I unpause is we're going to fail the quest. There, City of Will Desire has been failed. What you want to do now, if you take a look here, we've gotten religious unity below. And if I actually go to the stability and expansion, you can see here there is uh, nothing of a uh, revolt here about uh, changing religion. But if I go into Constantinople here, Orthodox, try and uh, put in a missionary. And I go in here. You can actually see here that we've got a 16% revolt risk. Actually, 18, it just popped up earlier because uh, a little bit more because of the guy I got in there. There will be convert Ottomans in Constantinople. Instead of a peasant rising, it will they will now try to convert the province. What's going to happen here is you have to wait until these rebels appear. You can go in here, you can take a lot of advisor, just keep away of the revolt risk lowered. You can take these guys and almost everything else. Um, and you can start doing all your your expansion out of the world as long as you keep uh, making sure that your religious unity is below 50. That is the real important thing here. As you can see, I could actually have started converting all of these guys, but I wouldn't do that. You'll get a few events as well, uh, changing your piety up and down. The more you can lose piety, the better. As you can see, you get more technology cost lowered and national tax modify lowered. You do not want to get more fort defense um, or missionary strength for that matter. That uh, that's nothing you need and you'll lose the party anyway as you convert your religion but the lower it is the more tech you can take up before you change religion but now I'm just gonna wait a little bit until these rebels spawn and then let's uh, take a look at it one small thing is uh, you get this uh, little make Constant uh, Constantinople your capsule you do not want to click this yet we need that uh, at a later point but just don't click that yet one small thing, uh, while this is going on, you can just set the maintenance of the missionary to zero. It should uh, help you save a little bit of money. Doesn't do much besides save you money, because you're not able to convert this province anyway, so might as well save some money while trying. 
There you go. As you see, we got Orthodox Sellers risen up in Constantinople. Now, that's the good thing. As you can see here. Handle. We cannot accept the demands yet, but when we do, uh, they will change the entire country's um, state religion onto orth orthodoxy. But they need to control any own province and control by the orthodox. Uh, so we need to get let them win the siege here first. And I'll be back when they've won that siege and let's see what's gonna happen then. Now, we were talking about this little make Constantinople your cap uh, capital. Now, before the Celts here are actually gonna uh, occupy the territory, we want to make uh, Ottomans or Sunni, so that's before we do anything else. Uh, culture in Constantinople will become Turkish, the religion changes to Zuni, and the capital of Constantinople is uh, renamed to Istanbul, and you gain six base tax in Constantinople. That is huge so if we do that now as you can see they're still there and they will then rechange the culture back our religious unity is now pretty damn high but as soon as these rebels will uh, get the territory they will reconvert the uh, province back to orthodox and let's get at it when they do that and there you see, rebels are successful. My Sultan, the author of Exilus, has taken control of Constantinople. Well, it's forced conversion. And the siege of Constantinople is over. If you take a look here, our religious unity is now again below 50. Which is really important, because if we go into here, handle, accept the demands, as you see here, convert the Ottomans. Orthodox will become the state religion of the Ottomans. We'll lose 50 prestige. Yeah, but that's not that bad. And we'll lose 3 stability. So let's accept. As you see, we actually only lost 1. That's some weird thing. But if we go here to religious tab, we're now Orthodox. Hello, little Ottoman Empire. And what you want to do now is try and convert these guys over here if you take the religious map mode. This entire territory over here is orthodox. And now you can take and claim your course on these uh, provinces over here where you have claims. Some of them are cores and some of them are claims. Then you can start taking them over and start um, converting the territories. And as you can see here, I can do religious slots now because I've uh, added with the te with this guy, well, uh, with the um, tech rise. I hope this was helpful. Um, of course, still all credits goes to Roomba for finding out this little um, way of doing it. So, see you guys later. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you like the guide, then remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more guides for both Europa Universalis and Crusader Kings, then click on the logos here on the annotation or check out the description down below. See you guys later. Bye.